So he said to him, What is your name? And he said, Jacob. He said, Your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven with Elohim and with men and have prevailed. Then Jacob asked him and said, Please tell me your name. But he said, Why is it that you ask my name? And he blessed him there. Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, to whom the word of Yahweh had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Yahweh called your name a green olive tree, beautiful in fruit and form. With the noise of a great tumult, he has kindled fire on it, and its branches are worthless. Yahweh of hosts, who planted you, has pronounced evil against you because of the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah, which they have done to provoke me by offering up sacrifices to Baal. Also I will restore the captivity of my people Israel, and they will rebuild the ruined cities and live in them. They will also plant vineyards and drink their wine and make gardens and eat their fruit. I will also plant them on their land, and they will not again be rooted out from their land which I have given them, says Yahweh your Elohim. Say to them, Thus says Yahweh Elohim, Behold, I will take the sons of Israel from among the nations where they have gone, and I will gather them from every side and bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel, and one king will be king for all of them, and they will no longer be two nations and no longer be divided into two kingdoms. They will no longer defile themselves with their idols or with their detestable things or with any of their transgressions. But I will deliver them from all their dwelling places in which they have sinned and will cleanse them. And they will be my people and I will be their Elohim. But if some of the branches were broken off and you, being a wild olive, were grafted in among them, and became partaker with them of the rich root of the olive tree. Do not be arrogant toward the branches, but if you are arrogant, remember that it is not you who supports the root, but the root supports you. You will say then, branches were broken off so that I might be grafted in. Quite right, they were broken off for their unbelief, but you stand by your faith Do not be conceited, but fear. For if Elohim did not spare the natural branches, he will not spare you either. Behold, then, the kindness and severity of Elohim. To those who fell, severity. But to you, Elohim's kindness, if you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you will also be cut off. And they also, if they do not continue in their unbelief, will be grafted in, for Elohim is able to graft them in again. For if you were cut off from what is by nature a wild olive tree, and were grafted contrary to nature into a cultivated olive tree, how much more will these who are the natural branches be grafted into their own olive tree? For I do not want you, brethren, to be uninformed of this mystery so that you will not be wise in your own estimation. A partial hardening has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles has come in. And so all Israel will be saved, just as it is written, the deliverer will come from Zion. He will remove wickedness from Jacob. This is my covenant with them when I take away their sins. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 sealed from every tribe of the sons of Israel. From the tribe of Judah, 12,000 were sealed. From the tribe of Reuben, 12,000. From the tribe of Gad, 12,000. From the tribe of Asher, 12,000. From the tribe of Naphtali, 12,000. From the tribe of Manasseh, 12,000. 
from the tribe of Simeon, 12,000, from the tribe of Levi, 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar, 12,000, from the tribe of Zebulun, 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph, 12,000, from the tribe of Benjamin, 12,000 were sealed. Then I looked, and behold, the Lamb was standing on Mount Zion, and with him 144,000, having his name and the name of his Father written on their foreheads. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from Elohim, having the glory of Elohim. Her brilliance was like a very costly stone, as a stone of crystal clear jasper. It had a great and high wall with 12 gates, and at the gates 12 angels, and names were written on them, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the sons of Israel.